Lawmaker Kenneth Learn stated that many young people still aspire to home ownership and hope the government will introduce more supportive policies after recent measures to assist youth in purchasing subsidized sale housing. Talking to iCable News program Let's Talk, Learn welcomed the government's new initiative to increase young people's chances of securing home ownership scheme flats by providing an extra ballot number and reserving quotas for them. However, he urged the government to raise the income ceiling for applicants, allowing young people to aim for higher earnings. He also called for more mortgage and savings plans focused on subsidized housing. Regarding the new youth hostel project in Kowloon City, Learn believed it will significantly benefit young residents. He shared the story of a young hairdresser who previously lived in Ting Shui Wai but worked in Causeway Bay, facing long commutes. The new youth hostels greatly improved his work-life balance, allowing him extra time to enhance his professional skills. Furthermore, the government plans to transform the Kaitak area into a youth station with accommodation and cultural elements to enhance communication between local and overseas youth. Learn stressed the importance of creating engaging spaces that appeal to young people, inviting various operators to bid and harnessing community creativity. Additionally, the lawmaker said he hoped the YouthLink interactive platform at the Nam Chuan Community Center proposed by the government will help gather young people's insights for updating the next version of the youth development blueprint. Jeremy Zhu, Cable News.